this morning praise God to thank in each and every one hallelujah let's go before the throne with prayer amen hallelujah Lord we thank you this morning Lord we thank you for blessing us to see another day that we never seen before Lord we thank you for our family Lord we thank you right now Lord for everything that you have done that you're gonna do Lord we thank you Lord we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Lord that you were here Lord, hear our prayer this morning, that you would touch us, Lord, strengthen us, Lord. Lord, heal, praise God. Lord, we ask that you would bless, Lord, our property this morning, Father God. Strengthen her, Father God. And, Lord, don't forget about all the ministers, Father God. Lord, don't forget about, Lord, each and every mother, Lord. Lord, the deacon, Father God, the saints, one by one and name by name, Father. Lord, we come out to give you praise this morning. We come out to lift you up, Father. We come out just to say thank you because you've been so good to us, Father. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done. And, Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, if you would be so kind and so grateful, Lord, Lord, that you would just, Lord, touch our ears so we can be a hearer to the word, Father God. Hear your word, Father, and do it, Father. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We will forever give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank and praise God. Hallelujah. For our prayer, praise God. So at this time, we're going to have a selection by our praise team. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do.
Hallelujah. We just thank and praise God for our praise team. Hallelujah. Taking us a high, a, a step higher. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank God, hallelujah, for the word on this morning. Hallelujah. The word. I'm telling you, I'm so blessed. I'm still hyped up from last week from Minister Makia, praise God, when she came to us with due season. And all this week, I tell you, I've been encouraging people, telling them due season, hold on, in due season, praise God. You're going to reap, praise God, hallelujah, what you sow in due season. Hallelujah. Yeah, it truly blessed me. It truly did, and I thank God for that, praise God, because somebody else, praise God, I could sow into their life, they could sow into somebody else's life, hallelujah, and it could keep going, hallelujah. So I know you all were as blessed as well as I was, praise God. This morning, praise God, I'm going to come to you, hallelujah, about how to get in the victory over our giants in our life, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's why I got my War shirt on, praise God. I'm dressed for battle. I'm ready to go out, praise God, because I come this morning to tear down, praise God, that giant. I come to give you life more abundantly, praise God, hallelujah. So whatever it is, praise God, we come, we, we, we come together this morning. We stand together. We're going to tear down, hallelujah, no more. Hallelujah, Goliath got to go. No more. Whatever it is, praise God. Let's just put it on the table this morning. Hallelujah. And welcome God in. Hallelujah. Because he's about to do some things. He's about to turn some things around in our life. Hallelujah. So as you know about David and, the Gol and Goliath, praise God, you know. Hallelujah. I'm not going to stand here and read it for word to word. Praise God. I want you to just, just sit back and read it. And as you read it, praise God. And it blessed me. So when I begin to read it, praise God, I begin to see. What was going on, praise God, how David got the victory over the, his enemy, praise God, hallelujah. David wasn't playing, so we ain't playing this morning. So we're going to become like David, praise God. We just, praise God, these, pray, we, we, we may be small in, in, in stature, praise God, hallelujah, but we got some giant, praise God, that we're about to tear down, praise God, hallelujah. Just like, praise God, the, the wall of Jericho. When the people began to go around and praise God, that wall had to come down. I know it was a tall wall, but it had to come down, praise God. So just look at it this morning as your giant coming down, whatever it is. I don't know, but you know, praise God. I had a trying time this week, and my giant was pretty big. Praise God, hallelujah, but I kept praying. I kept praying, and I kept on, praise God, till I had to, it, it, it had to come down. My giant had to come down, praise God, hallelujah. So praise God, as I begin, praise God. This morning, praise God, just thanking God for the woman of God, Prophet Troy, praise God. I do thank God for her, praise God, and all that she do and all her encouraging word, praise God, that she give us. And, and I thank God for, praise God, and we're just going to keep asking God to bless her. Keep lifting her up, praise God. Her and, the, and, and her family, praise God, hallelujah, because without them, praise God, as well, where would she be? They propping her up. They keeping her up. So we got to do the same. Praise God. Here, praise God. Hallelujah. And to each and every one of you this morning, praise God. Hallelujah. So praise God. Let's start off, praise God. Get in the victory over your enemy, praise God. Today I would like to take all of you to a very interesting story. It is one of my favorite stories in the Bible, one of them. This is the story of David and Goliath. Coming from 1 Samuel 17 chapter. I'm not going to read it all, praise God. As I said, I'm just going to jump around. Praise God. And if, if praise God. And on this, praise God, one of the favorite Bible story for children was this because they looked at this little bitty boy fighting this big old giant. Praise God. Hallelujah. So children, they love this story. They just think that it was just, wow, wow. And when I began to tell Xavier, my son, he was just, he was just I said, get your Bible and read it. He went in there and he began to read. He came back and he said, Nana, that's a little boy. I said, yeah, he was, he was, he was small. I said, he was, you know, he said, he fighting that big old giant. I said, yeah. He said, how tall was it? I said, they said it's nine feet, so that's tall. That's taller than my daddy. Yeah, he taller than your daddy, boy. He way up there, praise God. He said, he, he did that? I said, he did that, praise God. So young children love this. They grab a hold to it. But as grown-up, praise God, we see it as, hallelujah, our trials and tribulations. 
for what we're going through, praise God, hallelujah, whatever it is, it got to come down. It's a giant in our life, praise God, and it got to come down, praise God. So it say, praise God, but the story of David and Goliath is not just for children. It is a fascinating story that never get old to read. It don't. The chapter opened as Israel and the Philistine are facing off in battle. David, oldest brother, were with the army of Israel. While David was at home tending the sheep, David's father, Jesse, sent him to the war zone to deliver some food, praise God, to his brothers and find, and find out news about the war. Praise God. David quickly arranged for others to take care of the sheep while he took off for the better for us. Hallelujah. Look at David. Praise God. It say, praise God in here. Praise God. On the second chapter, it said, and Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistine. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side. And there was a valley between them. And you can just imagine, praise God. David arrived at the battlefield to find his brother and the rest of, his, and the, rest of the Israel army cowered in fear from the marking of Goliath of Gate. Goliath was the champion of the Philistine army. Huh. They said, though he was about nine feet tall, he spoke words that angered David. Goliath was claiming, he was, Goliath was claiming the God of the Israelite was not able to help them to battle. Goliath had blasphemed David God, and David aimed to stand up for what was right. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. They say that Goliath was huge, strong, well-trained, and a trash talker. Hallelujah. You can just imagine how big he was. Praise God. So he could say what he want to say because could nobody beat him in battle. Nobody. Nobody. Praise God. Sometime in life when we go through our giants seem like it just won't fall. It just won't. It, it, nothing won't happen. It just keep going over and over and over and over and seem like that thing for you know is bigger than you can imagine. Praise God. But guess what? It got to come down. It got to come down. Hallelujah. It said there um it said there was one man who should have been brave enough to fight him. <laughs> there was one that should have been, but didn't. Praise God. Hallelujah. This man was famous for his height and good looks. But upon hearing the challenge of the Philistine warrior, King Saul hid in his tent. Talking about King Saul, y'all. Hallelujah. Sometime our giant can make us run and hide. Sometimes our giant can put fear in us, praise God. Sometimes our giant can take over, praise God, and we just don't, want, we don't know what to do, praise God. But it comes to an end. It stopped, praise God. It stopped. It got to come down, praise God. Hallelujah. My giant this morning got to come down, hallelujah. Because guess what? Today, this morning, I'm getting victory over my giant, hallelujah, and I'm helping you. Get victory over your giant this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It said that, um, praise God, it said that, hallelujah, that the Israelite was not able to help them in battle. Mm. Goliath had best friend, David God, and David aimed to stand up for what was right. It, ignoring the potential danger, <laughs> David didn't think about what I got to go through. Praise God, hallelujah, this man is big, praise God, tall, praise God. That didn't even face uh, David, praise God. David didn't even think about that. He didn't, praise God. It said that, hallelujah. David said that the, the, that would, David said he would fight the giant. He was immediately taken before King Saul. Hallelujah. Can you just see him? Can you see, praise God, David was standing up there? I fight him, praise God. I go to battle, praise God. See, because you already know. David, what well, he said, he, he, what, what did he do? He killed a lion, praise God. He killed a bear with his bare hand, praise God. But not him alone. He knew his God was helping him. So David had no fear. David didn't even think how to, he, he didn't even think. So he was talking big. And I can imagine David was sitting up there. He probably was just, let, just, just hey, hey, take me to him. Take me to him. So they took David to King Saul, the one that should have been up. Praise God, and ready to face him. King Saul was hiding, boy. He, didn't, he wasn't coming out of his tent, praise God. He said, David fell unworthy using Saul's armor. 
He refused to accept the kind and generous offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, you know, praise God, David didn't even think about, praise God, he didn't want none of that stuff that King Saul was trying to give him. David didn't want none of that. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, after leaving Saul, David ran toward Goliath, prepared to fight. He gathered five smooth storm, stones from the river and pocketed four of them. The fifth one went into the sling prepared for Goliath. That ran towards one of they, they ran towards one another. Goliath mocked David and said that he was not afraid of a little boy. Can you imagine that? Hallelujah. Goliath was, what are y'all doing bringing this little boy out here? What do y'all think he going to do? Praise God. Can you just see this tall giant and he's looking down at this little boy? Boy, who you think you are? I can't just just imagine this this this, this trash talker. They say the Goliath was he was a trash talker. He was big, praise God. And you know they say he was he was ready. He was armed up, praise God. Everything he had on was he was ready. But after he saw David, I guess the giant was like, what did, what 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 are they doing? Praise God. What are they doing? Praise God. But he said that, praise God, David said that the Philistine came with a sword, a shield, and spear. But David came with confidence that God of Israel, hallelujah. David said, hallelujah, you come with your sword, your spear, praise God. You come with all this. You got your heaven on, praise God. You got your breastplate on. You got your shoes on your feet, praise God. You come with all that. David said, but I come with one thing, praise God. That was where, hallelujah, what? He came with his, just his slingshot, ready, ready. Can you just imagine that? This little boy, praise God, just a slingshot. But it said, praise God, as I was reading in my study Bible, it took years. David was practicing. David was rehearsing. David was out there with them sheep. He just wasn't tending to them sheep. David was tending to, praise God, some business out there, praise God. So when snow bears, and those lions and tigers and whatever they said come up against him, he knew how to take them down, praise God. But he knew his God was on his side. See, David knew about God, hallelujah. As you read, you read about it, David knew who God was. He didn't fear what that big giant looked like. He didn't care what he had on, praise God. He knew he was going to take him down, praise God. Hallelujah, he told him, this day, this day you will be taken down, praise God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. David boldly repeated, replied that he had no fear of Goliath and that the bird would be picking the flesh off his giant body. <laughs> By the end of the day, hallelujah, David let, David let fly the stone in his sling. The stone hit the giant before the eyes and the stone sunk into his forehead. Praise God. David was, praise God. See, when the giant told him, Oh, I feed him to the bird. He ain't nothing. Boy, what are you doing out here? Do you not know who I am? Do you not know me? I am. I'm the army here, praise God. I, they, they out here, but I am. Do you not know who I am? Boy, they, I will feed you to the bird. You will be nothing. But what did David do? He replied back to him. This day, giant, you come down. This day, giant, it be no more, praise God, hallelujah. And what happened? David, they began to run toward each other, and David slung. Hallelujah. He got five stones, but he only took one. One stone brought him down, hallelujah. One, hallelujah. That's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. Praise God in the midst of our storm, in the midst of our tribulation, in the midst of our trial. Praise God. Just praise God through it all. Hallelujah. Don't you know your giant going to come down? Hallelujah. See, the devil going to get sick and tired. Praise God. Every time you look around, you going to your God. Yes. Hallelujah. That's all you got is your God. Hallelujah. Stand before you. You just praise God. You standing here. God is your giant. He's your giant. He got your back. He got your back, praise God. Nothing, nobody, praise God, can, can touch you. Praise God. Why? Because God got your back. Hallelujah. He said, Goliath fell forward while both armies watched. Can you see it? Can you see it? As you read the word, can you see it? David then pulled the giant's sword and chopped off the head of the Philistine champion. Hallelujah. This is the short sermon of David and Goliath. Church, we shall see three very important life lessons from the story of David 
and Goliath. So the topic is get in the victory over our giant. We are all facing various giants in our life. We don't want the giants to defeat us. No one wants to be like Goliath, but everybody wants to be like David. Let us see how David defeated the giant in his life. Is there anything we can learn today? Is there anything, any giant, any situation, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, it got to come down in your life, praise God. Is there anything in your life? It got to come down, praise God. Praise God. It said, let us learn so that we all will be giant slayer like David. Think about it, y'all. I don't care. Go to war for your children. Go to war for your grandchildren. Go to war for them. No matter what, praise God, you are the giant. You are, praise God. You're bigger than whatever that is, praise God, over just trying to take over your children, your grandchildren. No, sickness got to come down. No more. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It said, praise God. If you want to be a giant slayer, you have to remember this three important principles David used to defeat nine feet Goliath. Remember who you belong. Remember, who are you? You are a child of God. Remember. Hallelujah. Say, as you face the giant in life, remember who you belong to. Remember. First Samuel 12, 17 and 26 say, for who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should tip which mark the armies of the living God? The sad thing is Israelite forgot who God is. <laughs> they forgot the power of God. They forgot how God has protected them in Egypt. And they forgot the God who parted the Red Sea. The most terrible target of mankind is not. Don't forget about your creator. Don't praise God. Hallelujah. See, sometimes we forget. We forget who we are and who we belong to. We belong to the, whole, the most high king, praise God. We belong to the most, I mean, a, a giant bigger than Goliath. Bigger, hallelujah, bigger than him, praise God. That's who we belong to, praise God. It said, when Goliath challenged the Israelite, they ran away with fear from the giant. But David remembered whom he belongs to and said, who is this uncircumcised? giant that is marking the armies of the living God. David said, who is this man? Who is he? Praise God. Marking my God. My God. He must don't know my God. Praise God. He must don't know him. Who is this man? Praise God. They rem David remember that, were, that they were God's army and God is with them. However, Israelite forgot who they are. In our life, we will face great giant in many ways, in many forms. But two things you need to remember. Remember who you are in Christ and remember who God is. Who are you? Praise God. You are God's child. That's who you are. Praise God. It said in 1 Peter 2 and 9 say, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own uh, possession so that you may proclaim the excellence of God who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's who you are, a chosen generation. You are. You are God's beloved child. You are redeemed. God has purchased you from slavery or sin and justified. God has declared you righteous. You are, new, you are a new creation in Christ. You belong to God, and he is with you always. Always remember, you are the son and daughter of the most high God. David knew who he was. Who are you? Who are you this morning? Praise God. I don't know, praise God, what you're going through. Hallelujah. But just know this. Hallelujah. Remember who God is. God is, he is our protector. He, we are his children. Praise God. And he said that his children, he will save his children from all harms or disease. He protects his children of Israel and Egypt. From all harm and disease, praise God. So it doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, you belong to him. You've been bought with a price, praise God. So praise God, no matter how big your giant is, hallelujah, it got to come down, praise God. You got to remember who you are, praise God. Hallelujah. And who? Who you serve? Who you serve? A living God or you serving a little bitty God? I serve a giant God, praise God, hallelujah. I thank God, hallelujah, because... We know, praise God, and in life, hallelujah, we go through so much, praise God, we do. And our children, 
And we worry, and, and, and we, we, we really worry about our children and our grandchildren because the day and time now, I'm telling you, this giant is not playing. He ain't playing. So guess what, y'all? We got to put on our, 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 welfare, our weapon, praise God. We got to put it on, and we got to take back, praise God, what we let the enemy take from us. We got to take it back and take it back by force. We can't stay, we can't sit there and baby it. We can't sit there, praise God, and say, oh, you know, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. We got to be like the woman and, 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 uh, on that uh, picture or uh, war room. We got to go into our closet, and we got to begin to pray. We got to scream, holler, praise God, hallelujah. That time I get in my car, and I just scream. Oh, just scream. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, praise God, hallelujah, because, see, I know what he's about to do. I know what he's about to do. So guess what, y'all? No matter how big that giant is, we're going to come together this morning. We're coming together. We're coming together, and we're going to tear that giant down. So whatever you're going through this morning, it doesn't matter what it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Write it down. Write it down. And I want you to praise God to declare victory over the enemy. Just write it down and let that devil know, praise God, today you come down. Sickness, you come down, praise God. Heartache, you come down, praise God. Depression, you come down, praise God. Drugs, you come down, praise God. Whatever line, you come down, whatever it is. Whatever it is, your giant is, let me know this morning. It comes down, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God, hallelujah. Because truly God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I thank God, hallelujah. Praise God. And that second thing is, depending on God, deliverance. We got to depend on God delivering. He said he'll do it. We know he will. Praise God. Be just like David. Hallelujah. I don't fear. There's no fear here. There's nothing here. Praise God. I know God's going to bring me out. He said he would. I believe he will. He's going to bring me out. Hallelujah. I declare, praise God. And praise God. It said depending on God delivering. First Samuel 17, 32 through 37 tell us, and David said to Saul, let no man heart fail because of him. Your servant, servants will go and fight with the Philistine. And Saul said to David, you are not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him. For you are but a youth. And he had been a man of war from his youth. Praise God. It's no way, David. You can't, I can't let you go out. There's no way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometime in life we have to say, you know what? There's no way I'm going to let you take me down. No way. I'm sick and I'm tired now. It's no way. It's no way. You get the best of me. Not today. Not today, praise God. Hallelujah. It said, but he said, but David said to Saul, your servant used to keep sheep for his father. And when there came a lion and a bear and took a and took a lamb from the flock, guess what I did? I went after him, struck him, delivered him out of that, his mouth. And if he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. David bad. They were a bad little boy. Praise God. You see them little kids be running around here and they say, Ooh, that boy know he bad. But David was bad till he was bad. Good. Praise God. David was a bad little boy. Don't mess with David. Praise God. Leave David alone. Praise God. That's what we gotta, that's the way we gotta be. That people see us, praise God. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't mess with her. Don't mess with him. Oh no. You you better leave him alone. You better leave her alone and go on. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm gonna get David on you. Praise God. Hallelujah. David gonna fight for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes that's what we gotta do. Praise God. He said he went, huh? David said, I wasn't afraid. I killed him with my bare hand. Your servants, hallelujah, were struck down, both lions and bears. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defied the army of the living God. And David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion and from the paws of the bear will deliver me from this hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Boy, woo, go, 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 David, praise God. But, but before you got there, let me, let me prep you up. Let me prep you up, praise God. Let me let me send you out there, praise God. Well, you know, let, 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 let them put on your, well, your, your, your war clothes now. You can't go out there like that, David. Now, I can't send you out there like that. Hallelujah. But praise God. David, praise God, began to tell, as he began to run, David said, I can't. I can't. This is too much. He began to take off. 
He began to take it off. I, 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 this holding me down. I ain't used to this. All I'm used to is this, 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 this lane right here. See, all you used to is God's word, praise God. You got your weapon. You got whatever you need. You got your sword. You got whatever you need. Praise God. You got it. You don't need all that. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, some people, praise God, got to come. They got to have this. They got to have that and this and that. Praise God. Only thing you need, praise God, to know that you who you are, who you belongs to. Praise God. And know, praise God, he got your back. God is your. He is your giant. Praise God. He is your giant. He fight for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank God because truly. The only thing we need, y'all, only thing we need is the word of God. The word. The word will never fail us, praise God. I believe the word said, you know, heaven and earth will pass away before God's word. Hallelujah. Everything going down but his word. Let's take his word. Let's take his word for what he said it is. And let's just not just, just read it and skip over it. Let's read it and study it. Praise God. Study the word to show yourself. If you're study the word, praise God, so that devil know who you are. He can't mess with you. He can't mess, mess with your children, your grandchildren. He can't. Hallelujah. Because he know who you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. You may come. Hallelujah. But you won't prosper. It's a hand thing. Praise God. You may come against me. Whatever you may do, but it won't prosper. So go ahead. Throw your fiery dart. Go ahead. Throw whatever you want to throw. Praise God. It won't work. It won't work. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah, because he tell us hallelujah. He knows how fret God many times we tend to depend on ourselves to our ability and our knowledge. But God wants us to depend on him. So many times that's what we do. We depend on ourselves. Ourselves. Praise God. But that's not what God wants us to do. He wants us to depend on him. Praise God. So praise God. I thank God for the word this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can read it. Praise God, read it, and, and I mean study it, and it show you, praise God, who are your giant? Praise God, what are you trying? What are you trying to get victory over this morning? What is a giant in your life that you are trying to get over? Get out. Get be, just get away from, praise God. Tear down. Tear down, praise God. Take that stone, praise God, like David did, praise God, and, and give it a wham as they say a good old wham just wham praise god you got to go you got to get out of here praise god i thank god because true a lot of time i look at uh my son chad he's tall chad is tall but he's not nine foot but he's taller than i am and and i always laugh because he's funny he's a funny boy and i tell him i say you know what <laughs> i may can't beat you down but i'm gonna get me a chair or something get up there right up there along with you and I said, we're going to battle. Then he said, Ma, all right, Ma, Ma, Ma. I said, Chad, go, go, go on now. And he, you know, go on, praise God. But I thank God because sometime in our in our life, we do, praise God, we have so much going on. So much, praise God. But we got to know who we belong to. We got to know who. Who do you belong to this morning? Who? And what is your giant in your life? Tear it down. Tear it down, praise God. Let it know you got to come down this morning no more. Sickness no more. No more, praise God. Seem like death just running the land, praise God. But you got to you, you got to know who you are. And one thing that I said I love, praise God, in Psalm, praise God, on 27 chapter, I think it's a Psalm. It said, praise God, that, uh, that I am living in the land of the living, praise God, uh, of what the praise God, but let me know, praise God, that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, praise God. So you know what? I'm going to be here. I'm going to see it. I am in the land of the living, and I'm going to see it, praise God. He promised me. That's his word. My children going to see it. That's his word. Praise God. So hallelujah. So tear it down. Tear your giant down. Amen, praise God. So I pray that you all got something out of this praise god hallelujah get in the victory over your giant this morning hallelujah tear it down tear it down praise god it got to come down you are a child of the most high god you are a peculiar people you are yes you are you have been bought with a price no more it's time for us to take back what we allow the enemy to take from us praise god amen so may god bless you all thank you all so much Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So praise God. Thank and praise God for the word on this morning. Hallelujah. The word. 
Hallelujah. Say after that, praise God. I know we are excited this morning. Praise God, because we are gonna praise God. We 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 about to really really tear the devil down now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what time is it? Praise God. It's giving time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together one time. Let me see you move. Come on. It's the season for the favor of the Lord. Say. It's the season for the favor of the Lord. It's the season for the favor of the Lord. So is thirsty for an hour for Amen. Thank God for our tithes and our offering. Praise God for you all for your giving. Praise God. Know that it is better to give than to receive. Hallelujah. So I thank God and I praise God for you all. Hallelujah. We just thank God. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask that you would bless this offering. Lord, we ask you to just help us, Lord, whatever, Lord, it, in, it is in need of, Lord, that it would take care of father lord we ask you to bless each and every heart that gave father lord we ask you right now lord that you would give it back to them lord ten four, father god lord we ask you right now that should be no lacking no lacking in their home that help lord no lacking father god lord we declare this in all things in jesus name amen amen we just like to thank god this morning praise god and i don't know if there's anybody out there might need prayer this morning or whatever praise god but know that god is good and he is able praise god so whatever it is your giant got to come down praise god so praise god i just want to pray for you this morning hallelujah father we thank you this morning lord we thank you for the word lord we thank you father god for each and every one that's tuning in right now lord Lord, that they hear your word, Lord. They be a doer of your word. And, Lord, whatever it is, Lord, that giant got to come down in their life, Lord. Lord, we, st we are standing in agreement with each other, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. Bring it down, Lord. Let them know, Father God, you are a God that would deliver. You are a God that is on time. You are the God, Lord, that fight is thee, that heal is thee. You are our source. You are our provider. You are every and everything, Lord, and we thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for just reaching out, Lord, just touching, Lord, each and every heart, Lord. Lord, go out beyond, Father God. Go into each home, Lord, one by one and name by name, Lord. Lord, let your anointing power, Lord, fall on them, touch them, heal them in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, strengthen them where they're weak. Build them up where they may be torn down, Lord. Prop them up on every leaning side, Father God. Lord, because you are that kind of God, Lord, that you could take care of all of us at one time, Father. Lord, I thank you. Lord, if you would do this thing, Father God, I will be forever grateful unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that everybody will have, praise God, a blessed week. Praise God. I pray that your day will be fulfilled. Hallelujah. I pray that those giants will come down. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So praise God. This in our service at this time. So hallelujah. As we always like to say, hallelujah. John 8 and 12. I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Be blessed, light of life. Amen.
so bright, can take the wrong and make it right, make it right. 